Hello and welcome back to Diffley's Family Farm. Um, just before we get into this video, just a bit of a disclaimer um, for anybody a bit queasy or doesn't really want to see how chickens are processed on farm, it might be the video for you. So there's not too much gory stuff in it. Actually, there's no gory stuff in it at all. It's um, just harvesting chickens here on the farm and hope you enjoy it. So the time has finally come, it is the chicken's last day and um, I am running behind time as it was pretty late last night getting everything all set up and stuff like that and then got into bed at half past 11 and at half past 12 our little man decided to start to give out so couldn't get him calm, we brought him into our bed but you don't get much of a sleep when you have a little man kicking beside you all night. So we're running a little bit late, but it's not any problem. It just means that we don't catch the birds when they're sleepy, they're a bit more awake, but we'll still be able to get them no problem, I'm sure. Just go down to get the final setup done down here, and um, then I'll go collect the birds. So I'm just getting my setup set up down here. And I'm having issues already, although yesterday it was working perfectly. And now my scalder is not. The, uh, I can hear the contactor turning on and off, but it's not staying on, which is bad. I'm gonna have to open it up and have a look. Here is the scalder in question. It's only at 14.5 degrees. It started off at 14 this morning. And uh, without this, we're in big bother. You see any bubbles coming off that element down there? No. We're gonna have to open it up. Another time delay. It's warming up a tiny bit, but I think that's just from solar gain. I don't think the actual contactor is pulling it in, giving us energy to the elements. As we can see here, our contactor is not pulled down. So I'll flick it off now, have a little fiddle with it and see what happens. Okay, so desperate times calls for desperate measures. Uh, we're gonna have a stick to push the contactor and to keep that going. I think it might be that it mightn't be getting enough power because I'm losing some power through this old lead that I have here. Um, because it clicks on and off every now and then. And it was working before when I had it plugged inside, but it's full of water now, so I can't really lug it anywhere. But I'll keep an eye on the temperature and I'll just turn it on and off accordingly. Hopefully this works because without the scalder, nothing else. The whole process is upended because the plucking won't work. And we are definitely not hand plucking a hundred chickens. Put down a little bit of cardboard and a little bit of uh, wood shavings to just protect the floor and make it easier for cleanup later on. And it also maybe keeps the birds a bit cleaner.
So we have most of the chickens here on site. I'll just go through the little setup we have here. They'll come from there, only two or three yards to the kill cones, where they get stuffed in their head first. The neck comes out the bottom. And that's where they see their last little bit of Diffley's family farm. Then it comes over here to the scalder, which is at 70 degrees now, and it's too hot, but we'll add a little bit of cold water and that'll loosen up their feathers in there. So they're in there for about 45 seconds. My pre dip them, a few of them, just to see um, will the, keep the scald water cleaner because it does get dirty fairly quickly. And then they come over here into the plucker where you put about four or five in. These little rubber fingers here, bounce them off the other rubber fingers on the side and the feathers come off. We've got the table here where we're gonna stack them up then before we eviscerate them onto this table. We've got everything ready, I think. We've got the water on the go. And uh, now it's just a matter of getting into it. It's been over a year since we've done the last one, so we might be a bit rusty to start off with. So here we have the scalding, the scalder. We're just going to dip our birds in, wiggle them around for one, two, three, maybe about 30 seconds, and we'll just see how the feathers come off. Their feet as well there, and we'll get the skin off their feet. You've got to turn down your plug on Pull them up there and we'll see how the feathers are. Yeah, that's good. Into the plucker. Go on. Put it on the end. We've tripped. Oh, lovely. It was working earlier on. We'll fill it the first hurdle again. So that's the plucker and this is what they come out like after the plucker. They are big chickens. Completely cleaned or well, you'd be an absolute age trying to get them anyway cleaned when you're plucking them by hand. Great machine. So we have the first 30 done. It's taken longer than expected because we had some technical glitches. So we just washed everything down. We wash out uh, all the surfaces down after every 10. We do 10 at a time. And then uh, all the chickens are on ice, cooling down, and we're gonna go get a bit to eat. This is the last fella left in this batch. It's 59, and I think there's about 30 to 35 left up there. So here we are with the last 30 or so chickens left out in the pasture. We didn't have enough place in the trailer for them. Um, it's been a long day. We've had a few technical difficulties in that with electricity and stuff, but we're getting through it, and we've got about 30 more to go, so we're saying three more hours and we're out of here. It's uh, it's getting a little quicker each time. We've already done 59, but 50 was our previous record. So whatever happens, it's been a good day.
work is all complete today. Behind every great farmer is a great farmer's wife. Lovely feed for that. Here we have half of our chickens, or nearly half of our chickens, packaged and ready to go. They're all really big birds. 3.1 kilo, 3.6 kilo, 3.9. I may have fed them a little bit too much, but more chicken for us. So this is our final chicken that we've got shrink wrapped and just have to weigh it. 2.9 kilos. And that is our wrap. Can't wait to tally up all the, the weights as I think it's gonna be nearly 300 kilos. We're getting on an average about three kilos per bird. This is 2.9. Maybe fed them a little bit as I said before. <laughs> Just doing the final tally here. Here we are tallying up the last couple. Anyone in YouTube land can tell, can <laughs> check her figures. Put it down there and see what we got. Put it down there and see what we got. 273. 273 kilos of chicken. I'm gonna have to look in to see what I was doing. I can't believe that in eight weeks it grew that quick. So that is that. Um, hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned something from it. We are absolutely delighted to be able to have our own food on our own farm like that. Um, you just can't buy that sort of chicken in the shops, not fully pasture reared anyway. It was a great day. Things didn't go so well technically, but it was perfect anyways. We got it all done in, a, in one day. We got 89 chickens harvested in one day and um, nearly 280 kilos of chicken in the freezer that's unreal in eight weeks um as you may have seen in it i probably did overfeed them a bit because they're all very heavy birds i'd be looking to get them roughly about two kilos a piece um but sure i'll know for next year just bring that feed down a little bit as you may notice from the beard now and no beard back then that was about two months ago um the weather has just been really good this summer. We had about two weeks of rain in between a couple of spells or a couple of weeks of really good weather. So the last thing I wanted to do was spend hours inside editing video. So um, I decided I'd leave it for a bit, take a bit of a break. I've got loads of content now on my phone to put together as videos. So there's hopefully if I get a bit of time, I'll just sit down and knock out a few videos because there's been lots of cool things happening. And we're two months in advance, so as you can see this evening is a pretty good day we're getting 10 or 12 days of really good weather in a row which i think two spells of that in the summer that counts as a good summer in ireland so we're um pretty thankful for that um luckily we had a good day when we were processing the chickens because it could have been miserable if it was raining and that's it thanks very much again for watching hope you enjoyed it and uh, if you can think about it just hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed and uh, maybe a like button as well. It helps the channel get to other people. And uh, that's it. Thanks very much. And we'll see you in the next video.